white man in boxing. Where the flare cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellas1Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellas since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Heard some news that Canelo Alvarez next fight. Yeah, we kind of talk about that too. Could be pushed back to September 15th, Tuesday, uh, or a later date because, you know, or day before Mexican Independence Day holiday, that Tuesday or a later date. Uh, probably because of Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. pay per view. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. So, uh, I mean, it's just a rumor that's going around right now that it could be pushed back. Now, I'll give you an update on Callum Smith. I heard it was supposed to be announced this weekend. Um, Callum Smith and uh, and Canelo, but they it's in jeopardy, I heard, because Callum Smith is, uh, he want an extra million dollars. He wants six million instead of the five they offering. So, I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. It just seems like Golden Boy is dropping the ball on this fight negotiation. They did the same thing with Kovalev. It just don't seem like Canelo was having an easy um, fight negotiation. Now it's because everybody know that he getting $35 million a fight and they want respectable pay. I mean, I guess that could be the issue. That could be a problem, but I just think it's Golden Boy being frugal with the opponents. I do know Golden Boy does not want Callum Smith. Um, they don't want Callum Smith. Okay, they don't. So with them not wanting Callum Smith, you know, they want to do an in-house fight with an in-house fighter, Lemieux, Quigley, Torian, John, whoever, but the zone won't approve those guys. So this is letting you know when you want to do an in-house fight, instead of giving the best possible um, fight, that's just letting you know, that's just letting you know that Golden Boy don't want they dragging their feet on it. That's it. They dragging their feet because they don't want to do the fight. And to be honest, I think Golden Boy is just being terrible in negotiations. Golden Boy that's that's hurting Canelo Alvarez. Straight up and down. It's Golden Boy. So I don't think it's Callum Smith. You know, I seen an interview with Billy Joe Saunders, somebody sent me, where he basically saying that he was already told he was never getting the Canelo fight and, and Golden Boy was playing the media. And I believe Billy Joe Saunders. You know what I'm saying? They lowballed Billy Joe Saunders because they didn't want to do the fight, you know. You know, for the for for after the after the you know the corona. Because originally they had a deal for seven seven just under eight million, seven point seven million dollars. I heard the deal was whatever it was. So I mean, Golden Boy is just terrible. Um I don't know how anybody could sign the Golden Boy. Black, white, Mexican, Simpson, yellow, green, yellow, whatever. Bro, I don't see how anybody can, can sign to Golden Boy after these terrible negotiations. They can't keep Ryan happy. They can't keep Canelo happy. Only one that seems to be happy is Virgil Ortiz, but it ain't hard to keep an ordinary prospect as far as popularity happy. He don't even seem like the prima donna type. He seemed like self-maintenance, steak and potatoes. I get it how I know I'm good, so I'll just keep proving I'm good and you know people people gonna see I'm good. I don't need the judges, you know, I don't need I don't need Oscar's little help. I'm gonna beat your ass. That's what he. That's what he kind of get down as. You know, it's just like he, he like I. You know, I'm gonna knuckle up regardless. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, you want to put me in Alcatraz. You want to, you know, on Alcatraz Island. You want to put me on Gilligan's Island. I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna beat you up regardless. But you know, so that's the that's the take on that. But as far as them getting down, as far as them getting down. On you know whatever the September 12th, I heard they could fight a few days later, September 15th. But even before this, I heard about this uh, um, this Mike Tyson Roy Jones. And obviously, fights just don't come out the blue. People in the industry, they heard this fight was going to happen. They heard it. They heard it. They heard it. They heard it. Right? It was already talks about Canelo not fighting on that September 12th day to begin with, and he was going to fight later in September and October. But maybe Oscar De La Hoya and them already knew that he was going to, you know, they was going to do Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. So, I mean, so, you know, that just lets you know how can you be the biggest guy in the sport and you still letting senior citizens push you off your date. You know, it ain't like they're going to be on Free Fox or on ABC. They're going to be pay-per-view too. 
So if you're the biggest star in all the land in boxing, should Mike Tyson, Roy Jones, and Nate Robinson, and Hooper, and Jake Paul scare you off your fight day? And a few celebrity acts? You be the judge of that. You know what I'm saying? You be the judge of that. Should that, should that scare them off these streets? That's the million dollar question. You know, but sound like they gonna move off that date. And Roy and Mike Tyson gonna occupy it. it was, and you know, Mayweather, Mayweather used to play with Canelo and take his dates and push him off his dates and stuff of that nature or brag about doing that and this, that, and the third. And now Canelo gotta take a back seat to Mike Tyson, 54, 53 year old Mike Tyson and old ass Roy Jones. And also, they're going to have some music performances and some rappers on there. So, I mean, crazy, right? This dude is supposed to be the face of the sport. It's one thing to let Mayweather trick you off these streets. But it's also another thing. It's also another thing to... To let you know, you know, senior citizen fights push you off these streets. You know, so you know if they do bump, you know, Canelo off the streets. I mean, it just it look bad. It, it legitimately looks bad on Canelo. It looks bad on Golden Boy. I mean, you should be able to beat out. But one thing, Roy and and, and Mike Tyson still got his brands. Now, we don't know how many people going by, but you don't really want to divide it up. And also, it's the platform that's making Canelo look bad. The zone is not a good platform for notoriety. But you know what? If I'm Canelo, should I care about, you know, the platform as long as I get my money? But you want to be seen and you want to be heard. And that night, he probably won't be seen or heard. Nobody going to care about Callum Smith and Canelo Alvarez. Nobody. All the talk on the internet is going to be trending is Mike Tyson, Roy Jones, Nate Robinson, Jake Paul, and whoever's performing out there that night. That's going to be all the talk. Even people streaming it, people buying it. Some people don't, you know, care about it, you know. Nobody want to sit there in the Golden Boy car and, and watch, you know, a bunch of Mexican fighters fight that they don't know. And then watch, you know, Canelo fight a dude we never heard of. That probably won't be 100%. It's going to be weight drain. Even though Roy Jones won't, Roy Jones and Mike Tyson won't have judges. You know what I'm saying? But people still gonna be intrigued by it. You know, and I just don't think there is no big stars in American boxing right now. And I just think Canelo is hurting himself. You know, he throws money over, over you know, notoriety and integrity with the zone. The zone just don't have a plan. They don't promote well. Okay? They don't promote well. They don't market their fighters well. So, like I said before, it's just it's just not a good look. They got to get back to the drawing board and, and see how they can drive more people to the app. But it's going to be... The zone shouldn't be around too much longer. And, and, and one of the things that defeated me about boxing was when HBO went away. Excuse me. When HBO went away, and then the zone comes to fuck everything back up. We didn't need the zone here. You know what I'm saying? We didn't need an additional platform for boxing. We got rid of one. So if one of the historically more more accomplished boxing you know, platforms, HBO couldn't survive, why did the zone think they could survive with boxing? That's what this uh, is just mind-blowing. Why did the zone believe that they can flourish? That's what I never understood. Like, you come with just boxing. You didn't have NBA League Pass, NFL Sunday Ticket. You don't have a discovery of boxing channel movies or sports movies or boxing TV shows that can get people off. off. Why did they think they could survive? Nobody knows. It was a dumb plan to begin with. Especially in the digital era. You know what I'm saying? In the digital era being that the digital era being that I can stream the fight and still get the same quality. Now, what they could have done with streaming 4K was be the first to stream fights in 4K, and that would have been dope. 
that's what they could have done. Say, oh, we got 4K. And I think people would have like, okay, I can't get 4K streaming quality on the stream. That's what they would have said. I can't get 4K streaming quality on the stream. On, on the stream. I can't get 4K movie quality on pay-per-view. So that would have been something there. Then they uh, instantly escalate their prices or rise their prices. That was just, just not going to work. It's just best if they bow out and leave, leave it to the top rank and leave it to Premier Boxing Champions to handle boxing. You know what I'm saying? Then again, I mean, it's still, it's still going to be divided. You know what I'm saying? I'm all for multiple fight dates. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of, kind of going on here. I'm all for multiple fight dates. You know, but when we have a weekend where we don't get a fight, this is, this is what grinds my gears about the zone top rank of PBC. In a weekend, we don't get a fight. Nothing is on. Then the following weekend, all these dudes want to put three different cards on one day. I'm like, last Saturday, there was no fight. Now the following Saturday, you guys, you guys want to tell me that you all want to do a fight card. What? Are you serious? You know, are you serious? But... You know, but to end it off, if they do get pushed off the fight day, it's just a bad look for the zone and Canelo. You know what I'm saying? And then you got an opponent that nobody fucking knows in Callum Smith, really, outside of hardcore boxing fans. And a lot of hardcore boxing fans ain't seen but one fight of his, and that was with George Grove. So you deserve to get pushed off that fight day. You know? I'll be watching Roy, but I kind of be watching both. I have one on the screen. I'll probably order Roy and Mike. Because I, I got into boxing because of Mike. And Roy Jones was like one of my, other than Mike, Roy Jones was like one of my favorite lower class fighters, bro. Roy Jones was like Superman to me, bro. And Mike Tyson was like the Hulk. You know, he was just killing killing everything that moved. And they put me in boxing, bro. So I'm definitely going to support what they're doing. I love Roy. Roy worked with a lot of the young brothers in boxing. A lot of people don't know. They got a lot of young brothers passing the knowledge down. And I'm all for it, but hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business, question, inquiry, response, your video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel. Cash app, PayPal in the description. Best way to donate, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to.